Hi all, I'm Steve and welcome to Swensdale, my city skylines build. Well, it's uh, it's the morning, the sun's just come up, it looks like it's going to be a lovely day. A lovely day to put in my first um, public transport line. I'm going to put some buses, or well, a bus line, into Swensdale here. Now this is my, uh, I think I've had a three goes at doing this, this video. Uh, the first one um, went fine, um, but I spent half an hour uh, just watching a bus go round, uh, <laughs> which I, I really liked, but that's probably because we're just coming out of lockdown and other than work, um, I'm not up to a right much. So, um, you know, that, that was the highlight of my day, watching a, a simulated bus chugging around my town. Um, quite sad, isn't it? Um, so I kind of figured that half an hour of watching a bus might not be the best thing uh, for, for my viewers, if I ever get any. So, um, I've scrapped that and started again. I'm going to talk about mods here because when I was looking at how to use, um, you know, um, custom assets, people were saying you needed a mod to uh, to to enable that. Um, and so, you know, I I downloaded that and, and put it in my game and what have you. Um, and it all seemed to be fine. I was, you know, I could click on the the picture of the of the, of the stock bus and change it to the one that I wanted. Um, but it was only after that first one, that first go at this, that I scrapped. And then I looked at my mod list and realised that I hadn't, although I'd put it into the game, I hadn't enabled it. So I was changing, I was I was changing to a different asset with no mod enabled. So there's a bit of confusion here, I think. If you want to change a, the, the default bus, let's say, for an other model that you've downloaded you can do that in the vanilla game what you can't do is have multiple models running on the same line and that's where the mods come in and i think this is where there's been a bit of confusion some people saying you've got to have a mod you don't but if you want different assets on the same line a mod will be needed to do that so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to just quickly talk about the mods that you may use. There's two that come up. There's that seem to come up all the time. Transport Lines Manager and Improved Public Transport 2. Starting with this one. This mod, I tried this out. Um, it's very, very detailed. It lets you really get into the guts of the um, public transport simulation side and change a lot of stuff. Um, you know, ticket prices. Um, just one example. This uh, this gives, gives you an idea. You can change the number of vehicles that are allocated to a line on an hourly basis. So the idea is obviously that it's to cater for any peaks and troughs that you get throughout the day. The thing is, the way I'm playing the game, I don't think I'm really going to get that because I'm not running something like real time, which basically creates a rush hour and you know rush hours um my model for my city um is is, is this kind of the stock one which is a bit more abstract a bit more smoothed out i don't think i need all the stuff that transport lines manager can give me and when you look at the config for this the number of pages of stuff that you can change frankly i was a bit overwhelmed and I don't really want to get that deeply into transport. I, I mean, this makes it a game in itself. And, you know, you know, sort of kudos to uh, to Clyde, um for doing this. But it's far, far more than 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 I need. So um, maybe maybe in the future when, you know, when I want to sort of really focus more in on public transport. But for now, the one that I'm going with is improved public transport, too. Um, which hasn't been updated for nearly a year, but that's not an issue because it's compatible with the latest DLC um, and and it works. And what it does is it does it. It's I think of this as more of a quality of life type mod rather than a fundamental mechanics changing mod, which, um, um, you know, you, you, the other one is whose name I've already forgotten. That's awful. Um, but um, this one just adds a few nice features to to the stock way of operating. 
uh, without totally changing it. And for me, this is working. So you'll be seeing um, anything that I'm doing here has this mod enabled. So back down to the assets now that I'm using, I came across this and I really like it. And what it is, it's a fictional um, entity or company, how, depending how you want to look at it. But what it does is it, it, it does um, consistent branding across all the public transport options that you want to include. You don't have to have it everywhere, but it puts the ride logos on on the buses, trams, like I said, any any of the public transport options that you want to, if you like, bring into the ride family or, you know, in, in a more practical way, you want to download the assets for. Um, and I like it because it gives a sort of um, a public transport authority sort of vibe to it, a bit like, I don't know, Transport for London or Transport for Greater Manchester. The idea that it's a single organization that's um, designing and, and planning, commissioning or purchasing the services uh, that are being delivered to, to the passengers. Um, and it's uh, a New Zealand team. I think there's a number of people who have been um, contributing assets, but there seems to be one guy who's sort of, if you like, reskinning them with, with the logos. Uh, and what I like about it is um, there well, two things, well, a number of things actually, but the New Zealand thing works for me because they use a lot of the buses that we use over here in the UK. And although I'm not trying to go specifically for a UK look, um, it just feels quite comfortable, the, the, the sort of buses that you see knocking around here. The other thing that's good is that over in New Zealand, they drive on the left like we do here and like my map is set up. So they have assets that are designed for left-hand traffic with right hand drive. So what that means is the steering wheel's on the right, the doors open to the left where the curb will be, and it's basically all set up for a map that's been set to use left hand, uh, left -hand traffic. However, don't let that put you off if you're using the, um, the, the other way, because they've done the same assets, um, but done it the other way around. So left hand drive for right hand traffic. So still perfectly usable so this is what i'm going to be using so there we go that's all that's the a little discussion about the mods so let's get into actually uh, doing something about this now i'll confess when i rolled back normally I, I don't um i don't go back if i make a mistake in games i just you know you just deal with it that's that's the whole part of the fun i guess in this particular case i have done something i've put in a second power station because in that 30 minutes when I was watching my bus go round and round and round, I was so zoomed in on that that I didn't actually notice that there was a massive brownout like all the way around this periphery, which because I was so far in on the bus, even though my bus stop is in this loop, they were just outside where I was looking. Um, and basically I'd run out, run out of juice. So I've actually forestalled that when I rolled back and put the power station in, but I didn't do it for that reason, I promise. I don't, I don't, I don't think of myself as a terrible cheater i just did it because i know it's going to happen so i might as well i might as well do something about it all right so what i've done i've put like a little spur here that i'd set up ready for my uh, bus depot so let's get into this um so uh there's two well, first thing i need to say by the way is that at the moment they haven't set up any biofuel buses uh, the guy who's doing seems to be doing the, the all the reskins and what have you, and a lot of the model making. He said last month in a, in a chat conversation that it's something he's it's on his list. So biofuel buses will come, but he's not putting any sort of time uh, scale on that. So you can, if you want, put in a biofuel depot, and you can still send ordinary buses out from that. But um, you know it won't make them biofuel. Um, and basically, looking at the looking at the difference, uh, that one costs thirty thousand. That one costs forty thousand, and the upkeep every week, uh, seven twenty two hundred and forty difference uh, on the biofuel depot. Um, for now, I'm, I'm I don't see that it's worth it. I'm going to put an ordinary bus depot in. So that's the stock asset there. Fairly you know, relatively small footprint. What the um, what the ride um, creators have put in as well is they've put in 
their own depot, which is, if you just look, 720 upkeep, 30,000 cost. So it's the same as the regular bus depot, though it is, as you can see, it's bigger. Um, but what they've done basically is taken the standard bus depot and then wrapped a few um, uh, sort of uh, bit of eye candy around it. And I'm going to go with that, I might as well. Now, word of warning, folks, it's a bit of a sod to place it. <clears throat> and basically what you're going to do is you kind of like go a lot further than you think you're going. Or rather, a lot further than you need to. And then there you get, it'll snap. But... When you place it, what it won't do, and the mod author holds his hand up and says, you know, I'm I'm not sort of very good on buildings. Um, he hasn't made it so that it sort of automatically connects with the road. So you've got to do a little bit of something. So you need move it. So I click on M to activate move it. I just want to get in a bit so I can see what I'm doing. And what I need to do is just drag this to try to line up Beechwood Street with where the road comes down here and I'm I don't need to get it precise I'll go with that and then come out of move it and what I need to do is just put in a little stub of a road Oh my god, okay, um, I fluked that, and um, that is actually, I'd say that's perfectly lined up. What I was expecting was it would be slightly skew if, though apparently now it's gone. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's absolutely level. I was expecting that to be a bit sort of skew if, and um, though it is not showing, but, oh yes, it's there, Beach Street. Um, I was expecting to have to just fine-tune it to give me a, a nice straight line but there you go I managed to fluke it in what you can do in case you've never used move it before I'm not going to I'm not going to spoil this because I've done it right but if it was a little bit off at an angle if I dragged the bus depot that little spur road would move with it so you can fine-tune it to get it absolutely nice and level but there we go it's all done so before we just kick off, I'm just going to get, um, make sure I've got it all powered and watered. So I'll just whiz that through that. And I need power. Just for now, I'll just put like a, I'll tidy this up. I don't really like power lines everywhere, but just for now, I can't really think of a better way of doing this. So that's all ready to go. So where do I want to start? I'm ready to start my bus line. Now, if you watched my previous little video, um, I may be breaking what some people see as a rule here, because what I want to do, I want to connect basically town centre to town centre, which is, you might think effectively is being connecting housing to housing, residential to residential. And that's kind of like a bit of a rule breaker because people are supposed to connect different types of zones so maybe to the commercial or to the industry but not doing this but what i'd found when i started looking at um, the sort of traffic flow maps is that there is traffic being generated effectively from the surroundings of the town centers to the opposite town center and what i think it is is that over here I've got a regular high school in place, but over here, I think you can see the difference. I've got the Institute of Creative Arts and it's sods law that all the people who are living over here seem to want to send, you know, they're all in this kind of um, very eco-friendly, um, you know, the sort of green city sort of buildings, but they all seem to want to send their kids to a regular school. And all these people over here who are living in sort of standard, um, you know, um, suburbia, all seem to want to send their kids over to the Institute of Creative Arts. So, um, yeah, <laughs> just make your mind up where you want to live, guys. Um, as Douglas Adams said, I think. So basically what I'm saying is I think I've got some demand there. But what I am going to do, because all these shops are the ones, I um, can't remember the name of them, but you know the ones that kind of, kind of do their own produce and that sort of thing. 
all the sort of organic stuff. Um, I'm kind of thinking I'm going to put a stop round about here, just so people can walk back if they want to and uh, partake in some mung beans or whatever the hell it is, lentils. Um, yeah, so let's get on with it. So I want to put in a bus stop. So I'm thinking I don't want to put them like there because it might block up this sort of junction if buses sort of come back. So the park there, they'd have, people will have to cross over, but I think that'll generate a little bit of uh, extra traffic as well. So on my first stop there, it's going to come over this bridge, which I've dedicated to bus traffic and, and you know, emergencies and um, utility vehicles, but there's no commuter traffic, there's no heavy uh, goods vehicles go over there. So it gives it a nice fast route. I'm going to put my stop there that will hopefully service these uh, shops on Bankside here. And then I'm going to put a stop there. And a corresponding stop there. I don't need to do this here, but you'll see, I'll show you. I could take this straight back and it it's fine. It doesn't I don't want tra I don't want bus traffic to come up here because I find this road gets quite busy with uh, um, cars that are servicing these buildings here. I can go back on myself and it will take it outside. It won't try and double it back through here. But I'm going to put a stop here because you'll see I'm going to it kind of mirrors the setup that's going to be the other side of the river. So coming back now, stop there to sort of sort of mirror that one and then if as you see if i just try to connect straight to this it whizzes it down the middle um, which is where i don't want the buses to go and then around here i tried setting this that 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 um road down the center i tried setting that to ban buses but it still put the bus route down there so um i don't quite know what to do about that. So for now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a stop there, which will then allow me to bring that looped round. And there is my completed bus line. And if you've not seen um, this mod before, you'll see that this screen looks a little bit different from the stock um, line um, detail uh, pane. A little bit more information on who's traveling um, and what I can do from here is select, you see it says select type S, not type. I can pick which assets I want to be on this line. Now the one that I want on there, and oh, the nice thing is quite nice thing as well is you get the get little sort of window that's telling you about capacities and such like. Um, that's a double decker. Uh, I'm going to go for, you know, we're not talking massive numbers of people here. I'm going to go with this one. 50 capacity. It's still bigger than the than the default, the, you know, the, the stock one. So I'm going to pick that. I want that on my line. But you can see that if I wanted to, and I, I don't actually on this line, but I could pick. See, I've got two different buses selected. So it should mix and match from the two. I'm deselecting that and hope I haven't messed it up. I just want this one. And I'm going with budget control, which means that it will set um, it'll set the number of, um, you know, like, like, the, like the stock game does. I know from experience with this, it's going to put six buses on this line. Um, and I tried fiddling around a little bit, dropping it to five and what have you. And six actually works for this. So that so what the game is delivering seems to actually work for this line. Uh, but what you can do is you can add or remove vehicle there, which changes the number of uh, vehicles that are allocated to the line. So if it was showing six and I click on remove vehicle, it'll remove one and it'll show five. When it does that, it takes it out of budget control because you've kind of manually altered it. If you put it back into budget control, it would then add in. It would decide, oh yeah, there should be six on here. And it would put one back in. But you can manually tweak the number of vehicles that are being put into the line. Right, I think okay, that is it for that. So I've set the line. I've set the bus. Okay, so we've jumped over to our bus terminal. 
um, bus depot should I say and let's uh, pause the game and wait for the first bus honk honk bus is on the way yay and there it is looking good and I don't know whether you what you might have noticed but there's a bit of spacing going on here um, by default when you create new stuff they all just come piling out of the depot one after the other and basically create like this sort of road train um, but what's going on here go for line details so I've got this vehicle unbunching going on which is apparently something that's actually in the game um, um, but it doesn't seem to, <laughs> doesn't seem to be implemented or something but um, what this is doing is basically trying to space out um, my buses a bit so they're not all just sort of hitting all the stops one after the other and causing a big a big pile up a big uh, traffic jam so let's go back to where are we let's go back to where this is going to start I'm not going to spend half an hour watching buses going around I promise uh, but I just want to just see sort of inaugural there we go how many people how many people 18 not bad for first thing in the morning bearing in mind that there isn't really a rush hour or anything like that so there we go and I'm not going I'm not going to just watch it go round and round and round I promise you this line works it doesn't make uh, it doesn't make a lot of money but it it seems to kind of break even with maybe you know a, a token profit and at the end of the day this is public transport I'm not out I'm not trying to make money out of people I'm just trying to um, just trying to keep the traffic down basically so there you go that is setting up my first um, bus line I'm crowding up a bit here um, mind your gap uh, yes uh, stop it I'm just going to just start looking into buses again um, like I said this works this is my first uh, bus line that's going on in my previous video I'll just say this before I finish this I had this theory that this industry up here which is um, it's kind of struggling um, it's not got enough workers um, I had wondered whether some people were just too far away uh, and so you know maybe if I gave them a better route in they'd actually be picking up some some of the spare jobs that are here uh, so I put in this kind of like slip road type thing here this access road doing just like I did with this bridge so I used traffic manager if I click on one of these segments uh, and so, da, 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 and zoom in a bit so what you can see I did um, cars are banned taxis are banned I've banned trucks I don't want this to become some sort of shortcut for industrial traffic so the only thing that's allowed on this road is um, buses and um, utility vehicles like uh, like the uh, uh, garbage trucks and uh, emergency vehicles done the same on that bridge as well what I was going to do is put like an express bus route in and in fact I tried that in my first build you know the one that I, I scrapped because I spent all the time watching buses go around and it didn't do anything so again it's a kind of forewarned is far around I'm not going to try putting a route in that's just that's not actually necessary um, but I'm not going to take the road out um, I think it, it does actually help uh, things like the garbage trucks uh, just have a little bit of a easier uh, route it's more of a their route back uh, rather than having to go all the way around to get to the landfill there um, no, actually no it's the route out sorry it's a one-way system I've got going on here so coming out of the landfill instead of having to come like all the way around to come back down here they can just slip out here right that'll do for now I won't go on and on and on um, in my next video I want to basically I need to get some more people in and I want to actually I'm kind of running out of space here now I can expand up here I'm gonna have like a I've done this circular thing fine I want to put in a good old-fashioned sort of gritty thing here um, pack the people and I need to get some population um, 
because what I want to do, I want to expand here and start farming. This lot is oil, but I need 5,000 pop. Um, there's minerals under here, and of course it's forestry as well. And I think what I'm going to do is I've got two tiles that I can buy. I'm going to get this one. Hmm. I'm going to get this one so I can hook into the motorway here. But I'm going to need another tile to fully, because this is just a, this is, what is this? Just, just a two lane road. Um, which is kind of a bit, it feels a bit lightweight um, to connect into, into the motorway network. Um, so I was kind of thinking I'd, I'd want to expand that maybe to a four way, but I'm going to have to buy two tiles pretty much just to do that. So now I don't know now. <laughs> oh dear. Um, my other option, of course, is the way it is to expand there and then come down for this, for the oil when I want it. You know, that might be the way to do it. That was the way that I'd originally planned this. Um, and then I kind of like saw this oil down here and I liked these, um, I like these wharves, the um, keys that have been put in here as well. I kind of felt I should do something with them, but I don't know. I don't really know. Um, hmm. You know, decisions, decisions. Right, tell you what, I'm not going to agonise on camera. I'm going to leave it there. Thanks very much for watching. And when you uh, come back for the next video, you'll see what decision I've made if I'm not still prevaricating. So you all take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye now.